close your eyes, give all your attention to the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. As for the world outside, you can let that go. We're looking for a source of goodness and happiness inside that doesn't depend on the world. Because as John Lee once said, the truth of the world isn't good and the goodness of the world isn't true. Think about the goodness of the world. There's material gain and there's status and there's praise and there's, there's pleasure. But those things can turn on you. The gain can turn into loss. Status can turn into loss of status. Praise can turn into criticism. Pleasure can turn into pain all very easily. And the good things of the world can be taken away from you at any time. So you look for goodness inside. Look for goodness in the Dharma, as you're doing right now. Building concentration in the mind. And then thinking about the goodness that comes from within. It really is genuine. Like the gain that you gain inside. It's what the Buddha calls noble wealth. Gain in conviction, a healthy sense of shame and compunction, virtue, generosity, learning, discernment. All these things are genuine wealth. I guess they can hold you through all kinds of things, even when material wealth goes way outside. If you have wealth inside, you can stand it, you can deal with it, not be overcome by the loss outside. It protects you from being, being poor inside. That's genuine wealth. As for status, we make sure that our minds stay on the human level. We raise them above the human level if we can. As for praise, is what they call the virtues that are pleasing to the noble ones. The noble ones praise people who are firm in their virtue. Then no killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking of intoxicants. If you can be firm in this, and the noble ones praise you, and that kind of praise is really worthwhile. The praise of the world, well, we've seen it outside. All kinds of people get praised for all kinds of things. People can do real things that are really evil, and they still get praised. Things, people can do things that are good, and they get criticized. So you can't take anything for sure with the world, but with the, the praise of the noble ones, they know what they're talking about, and those are the people you want to look good in their eyes. And as for pleasure, there's the pleasure that comes from concentration, there's the pleasure that comes from putting the mind in a place where it really has an independent goodness inside, an independent source of well-being inside. That kind of gain and status and praise and pleasure is really worthwhile. It's the genuine thing. It's not just a convention. It's not just something made up by the world. These are the genuine article. So when you practice, you're finding true happiness, where the goodness is true and the truth is goodness. The truth is good. That kind of thing is hard to find in the world, but you can find it if you follow the Dharma and practice inside and develop these qualities within you. And then you're safe wherever you go. You're wealthy wherever you go. It doesn't depend on the economy of the world going up or going down. All it depends is on your own determination to Make sure that you have developed the qualities inside that really are noble. And they'll take care of you wherever you go.